Hello, and thank you for attending this session on the U4305A PCIe and NVMe Protocol Exerciser from Keysight Technologies. My name is Don Scheneker. I am the product manager for this product, and today I'd like to do a short demonstration of its capabilities for the PTC testing, protocol test card, and NVMe testing on for your devices. Right now, what I'd like to demonstrate to you is the protocol test card mode of this exerciser. With this exerciser, I plug it into one of our backplanes, the N5316A, that gives us a backplane, connectors, and um, power. And then I have the exerciser plugged into that. Into the other slot that I'm connecting, I'm going to plug in an NVMe disk drive that I'm going to test with. And I plug that into here and then turn on power on my backplane and I can begin testing by using the application on here. Now I'd like to demonstrate how the PTC test software works. First, as I open the software, I go to the general settings where I can set what speed I want to test at. It's doing general PCIe testing in the downstream mode and I can bring up the link by pressing this handshake button up front. On the right hand side of the screen I can see that the link is active by 1 at 8 gigabits per second. Perfect. Now I go down on the left hand side, I can uh, select my compliance test, and I can see I already ran these, these tests once, so you can see uh, all of the level 2 PTC2 tests passed, but there were some errors in the PTC3 test, for example the CRC test. If I select that test, I can see the description of what it was testing. I can also, at the top, select a report and see in this report, in the compliance report, exactly what occurred on each individual test. So for this bad CRC test, it gives me the description here of the error condition, and I can also check the log by selecting that link, and it gives me a complete list of the test results of what it tested, how it tested, and what the exact failure condition was. If I want to rerun any test, I can unselect the, the test and select it, and I want to rerun that test alone, and I select Run, and now it begins retesting that specific test and generating a new set of reports for me. Now, I would like to demonstrate the exerciser mode of the U4305A PCIe exerciser. In this mode, you can see that I have many more functions available for my testing in addition to compliance. So now, when I go to my general settings, I have additional capabilities of what link width I want to operate with. If I want to be in downstream mode or upstream mode, I have control over all of those things. When I link up my operation here, selecting the handshake, I can see that the link came up in BI4 operation. I am working with a storage device that supports BI4, so it linked up at 8 gigabits all of that link width. I have control of additional settings of my physical layer for equalization operations and transceiver settings, skips timing, so I can test lots of different physical layer aspects. But I can also start moving up the protocol and testing LTSSM operations. LTSSM, we have built in approximately 50 tests that test different aspects of the signaling state machine. If I want to make a test of initiating speed changes, such as exercise or initiate speed to a lower speed, I can select that, select a test, and it will give me a description of that test. Now I can simply hit execute to run that test and it gives me pass fail results. And so all of these different tests in here for hot reset, for equalization failures, are all built into the LTSSM test package. Now if I want to start sending packets, I can go to the traffic setup. Traffic set setup allows me to simulate different functions with a drag and drop interface to define memory reads, memory writes, configuration reads, and it's a simple drag and drop to create packets. And for each of these packets, I can define error conditions. Blank meaning no errors, but if I want to insert 
a CRC error. It's a simple selection, and then that packet, of these three packets being sent, that one will be sent with an error. Simple drag and drop interface. If I want to send these packets continuously, there's a block transfer mode that I can say continuous sending of packets. So I can load up a link at a very high utilization, all the time doing normal flow control operations. In addition to the traffic setup, there's also the ability to control my bar values. My bar is my memory mapping operations, and I can control each individual bar for each function. So there's multiple functions available for that I can simulate simultaneously. And as part of the whole virtualization, we can do multi-root or single-root virtualization, as well as your standard five-bar type of operation. As we simulate a device, we also can simulate different configuration space where you have complete control for all the register values of the configuration space for each function that you are simulating. Complete control for testing. As you're doing data transfers, there's the data memory that you can read from and write to, verify memory operations in your device. You have your virtual channel control and you can specify how your flow control operates. So there's complete flexibility of how you want to simulate. If, while you're simulating, you can also use the exerciser to insert errors, whether it's CRC errors, as we saw when we're sending packets, or sending NACs for packets and making devices do retransmits. You have control of that. The entire time all these operations are occurring, there is a protocol checker operating in the background that will flag you with any error conditions. So this is all PCIe verification tools that are extremely valuable for verification of your devices. In the next section, I'd like to talk to you and demonstrate the NVMe testing mode. Now, to demonstrate NVMe, the first thing I need to do is set my exerciser into the NVMe mode by going into General Settings, selecting NVMe, and applying that change. Now I have additional capabilities down at the bottom of my list. First area being is I need to scan my device to make sure it's correct. So I bring up the link, scan the config space, and what we'll see is all the config space that's available on my target device. When I go into the general settings I see that it's an Intel Corporation and what the device ID is. I need to enable the memory space and bus master capabilities of this card, and now I can apply that operation. Now, when I go to the NVMe Express mode, it asks me, here's all your settings in here, would you like to initialize the admin queues? To create the admin submission and completion queue, I simply select that button, it asks me how I want to create those queues, which bars to use, which page numbers to use for operation, how large those queues should be for testing, and when to create those queues, I simply click the OK after setting a few parameters there, and it has now created those queues. To see them, I select on the second tab that shows me submission and completion queue are available. For sending commands, my commands are now available with a simple drag and drop to create queues, and I can have complete control to set up namespace and sizes and operation and PRPs that I'm going to send across the link. Completely, complete control is available. But for simplification, I'm going to go to the conformance test. In the conformance test, I can simply select that, select that I want to do a whole series of conformance operations for NVMe. All of these tests were defined, defined by the University of New Hampshire, the IOL laboratories. So when you select a test, it gives you the description of what the test is all about, and there's also the code available that we're executing to run that test. So if I want to run all of these tests, I simply select at the highest level, run start, and it's running an initialization script for me that's going to do the testing of this device. So you can see in here that it is doing 
complete operations of and telling me how it's setting up the cues, how it's setting up the interrupt values, and then as it begins the testing, it tells me testing 1.1, identify, resets the NVMe controller, and then it performs that particular test, giving me a series of results and pass-fail results at the end of that operation. Each one of these tests is also generating a report that I will see at the end of the testing. Thank you for attending this session on the U4305A PCIe and NVMe exerciser. As we have seen, we've been testing this NVMe drive by using a series of test scenarios from the PTC for PCIe verification, NVMe testing where we have pass-fail results for NVMe creation queues, sending PRPs, verifying all those operations. All of these things are automated within this test solution. Please go to www.keysight.com and look at the U4305A for more information.